How to do y'all tables here. I wanted to do a, a bit of an update on the explosive arrow build. And we've actually gotten, we've made some really good progress. Um, we're at about 55 effective crit with our diamond, around 50% without our diamond flask. 82% uh, <clears throat> chance to evade attacks. Um, 85% uh, more movement speed, 85% spell suppression. Uh, I would like to get that to 100. Our resistances are solid. Attack speed, <clears throat> I will be over 4.0 towards the end. Uh, but right now, we're at about 3.3, 3.5, uh, depending on if we have uh, Blood Rage up or not. And uh, the damage is uh, starting to get really good. Um, <clears throat> we're tr I'm trying to decide between hypothermia and increased critical damage for our six um, link. We are running skitterbots, so hyperthermia is actually doing uh, some really good work for us. <clears throat> We're putting out about five arrows per barrage now, so that's about 15 different fusings uh, that can go on at any one point, which is actually higher than I thought I would be able to get. Um, so barrage is actually doing like really, really solid boss damage. <clears throat> I'm very, very happy with it. Still going with Des Opus, uh, going with the Silken Hood, and then we ended up switching to Carcass Jack over a rare, at least for now, uh, to get the area of effect and damage. <clears throat> and we'll do we'll do a little a quick little map here. <clears throat> this is a tier six map, nothing special. Like I just got into maps. So I'm still working on my pool. I've got I've got like four four of the watchstones, I think. And uh, yeah, it's going well. It's not as um, fast as I'd like it to be right now, just uh, for the simple fact that we're still working on our DPS and whatnot. Uh, but for the most part, you throw out a couple of fusings and you just you just keep on moseying out. And uh, to be honest, it, it it feels good, right? We, we don't have increased duration on it yet. Um, we don't have uh, any kind of anomalous or any kind of like um, special gem. We're just rocking the base level gem. <clears throat> and it seems to be working fine. I would recommend using um, one of the other gems. I think there's one that gives, specifically that gives 60% chance to crit. Um, that one... Uh, would be really good and I believe there's one that gives increased duration uh, that one would also be really good but by the time we get to the end of this build and we get everything like made and worked out uh, we will be at pretty much 100% crit which means we're going to be at like 100% ignite so <clears throat> um, I think the increased duration one is the one you're going to want to want because then you can absolutely have a possibility of getting up to a hundred, um, no, excuse me, 20 fusings that, and then that can just, that can bolster your DPS, like, like an insane amount. Um, I do try, oh goodness. I do try to switch to barrage, um, for the boss fights. If at all, if, 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 if we can uh, swing it, <clears throat> Don't forget to curse your, uh, curse your boys. You see the, the damage is solid. <clears throat> With the right amount of attack speed, like it's, it's really good. And death's opus really scales our damage hard from the additional arrows. It's, it's kind of nutty actually. <clears throat> death's opus is, is, uh, is very strong. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a quick map um it it is a very fast build and we still have a little bit more movement speed uh to get uh but so far i am very very happy with how the build has turned out uh i'm excited to see like what happens when we like really min max the gear which i'm gonna be trying to do this weekend um i will be level 90 this weekend we'll get the entire tree finished out <clears throat> and uh we'll kind of go from there so let's look at the POB real quick. 
Um, because the original tree that we had uh has now changed and we took some different some some different paths. Uh we had originally come all the way down here to uh Disciple of Slaughter to try and get our frenzy charges. So I ended up <clears throat> we I was afraid that with the health being as low as it is, that I wouldn't be able to effectively use Blood Rage. And so we opted to take the Leech Mastery because mana is uh, can be a slight issue on single target, uh, which is why I do carry a Mana Flask, and I think you should as well. Uh, since we took Leech Mastery with Clever Thief, we ended up taking Val Pack because our attack speed is so, so fast. Uh, we have... We have a lot of life leech, and honestly, it's it's really nice to have. Um, so we dumped the disciple of slaughter for um, <clears throat> for blood rage. Uh, we are running, I think, five or six uh, fringy charges in this build. Uh, we went and we picked up dire torment, uh, revenge of the hunted, and took all those nodes. Uh, came down here, picked up LA focus. And then one of the big ones we also picked up was uh, Dazzling Strikes. So we get a 30% chance to blind as well as an increased uh, crit chance against those blinded. We picked up Heartseeker, really maximizing our crit chance in this build. And as you can see, this is this is 1.3 million damage just on five fuses. Well, we're already doing that, right? With a Death's Opus, we're getting five per four. We're easily going to be at 20 fusings. That's four attacks per second. That's, you know, four times five. You know, it, it's a lot. You feel me? It's it's a lot. And even if you have to move around, you only get two off. You're still doing 2.8 million, right? And that's that's just on normal uh, map bosses. You know, you switch to Shaper Guardian. You're still rocking 1.7. And especially on Shaper uh, and most of the other, like, like Elder, <clears throat> you're going to be able to get off 20 fusings. So you're rocking 4 million DPS. That's not bad. You know, and even if you have to do, even if you have to move around a little bit, I mean, you're, you're still doing millions of damage, right? So I'm really happy with this tree as it, as it's, as it sits. Um, I, I think it works well for what it is. I don't know if I want to move into clusters just yet. And uh, to be honest, it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's been pretty damn tanky, uh, despite having only four point two k life. And yeah, I'm I'm really happy. We'll see if we move into clusters. I haven't I haven't fully decided on that yet. And there's probably uh, a few more things that I'm going to refine with this. I'm thinking maybe a flammability curse ring. Um, and we may or may not stick with the opals. I haven't, I haven't fully decided yet. Uh, and we may end up switching to a Stygian Vise, uh, to try and get some extra blind percentage. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Another good thing about this build is that you have pretty much open sockets in your body armor. And, and we, we were, I was originally going to go with a comb's heart, but I don't want to spend a ton of resources getting 191 strength. I don't think it's worth it. <clears throat> so we settled for the carcass jack because the int requirement was uh, a lot more obtainable, like by by a, a pretty considerable amount. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much where the build is. I'm really happy with it um i'll i will continue to keep you guys updated we'll do another video this weekend maybe tomorrow i'll hit level 90 uh i'll try my best this weekend to get all the watchstones finished up and we will go from there the next video hopefully the build will be pretty much more or less completed um i'll talk about the leveling i'll talk about the gems i'll talk about my experience uh with the leveling and kind of give you guys an insight on how it's going to feel uh, in case you guys want to, to give this a shot. I will say it's 100% league viable. I think I have <clears throat> maybe two EX invested in this entire build right now. Uh, so it's very cheap. It's not cheap 
it, it, or excuse me, it's it's super cheap. Um, the most expensive was the Des Opus, and I did get it six linked, and it it definitely was a pretty penny. But the varnished, uh, the carcass jack twelve C, the silken head one chaos. Um, all of these different like random ones. I mean, it's like five C, six C. I mean, we're we're talking very minimal investment that you know you're gonna have a lot of that by the time you even hit maps. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the build. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And if you did enjoy yourself today, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It certainly it helps me out a ton. I'm I want to get to it. That's my goal this year is to get to a thousand followers or excuse me, a thousand subscribers. And let's make it happen. Appreciate it, guys. I will see you guys very soon. Y'all be good. All right.